Okay, so we, we are recording. We are recording already today. We are with Mr. Fit Dance. By the way, I was talking with him and he said maybe he's planning to start a second YouTube channel in English. So I suggest him a very cool name. Maybe you can tell us. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah. going to be Mr. Dick, Mr. Dick, Mr. Dick Dance. <laughs> Mr. Dick Head. Head, yeah, yeah. Dick Head. That would be so fucking good. So, uh, you know, today is Saturday. We are going to relax a little bit. So, tell us a little bit about your life, what is going on. Um, try to enlighten us with what is happening. Well, uh, as I know, your audience uh, likes probably English. Well, I'm an English teacher. I, I had a podcast with Uncle Balta before. And um, I am also a YouTuber, a fitness YouTuber, although I'm not so fitness right now. <laughs> it's part of the game. It's part, you know, I realize when you study, each time that you want to study, I don't know why, but it's like the stress when you are studying makes you fat. I remember when, <laughs> that is, yeah. Well, some people, some people will say that those pimps are due to lack of sex too. So I go bar for the study and no for lack of sex because lack of sex is, you know, like no, a major no, no. issue that, I hope you are not dealing with now. That, that's that's not my case, man. <laughs> I, know, I know, I know. By the way, Yelkin enough doesn't count. But yeah, I trust. <laughs> I trust your capabilities. So, so well, tell tell me or tell us. Uh, you were saying you are studying like a second career or something like that. Yes, I am an automotive engineer that uh, worked uh, for several years as an English teacher, and uh, during the period that I was teaching at Ibna. I made my second majoring, well, my second degree on education, no? And uh, I am exactly the last cycle, the last cycle I have to do the thesis and do all those stuff. And at the same time work and at the same time, <laughs> you know, edit videos and upload yeah, yeah. videos. It's hard to deal with many activities at the same time. By the way, before continue, can you hear me in a, in a nice volume, right? Because my microphone was low. Can you hear me well? No, of course, of course, I hear oh, okay. you. Okay, sounds Excellent. good. So, you know, Mr. Fit, I don't know how do you handle to do many activities at the same time, because I do many things too, but I believe you, yeah, I don't know if you are talking about your balls or <laughs> talking about why, because I, I, sometimes I have the heavy too. So uh, uh, let us know, because I know that it's about organizing, about having an agenda, but sometimes I believe you, you take that to the next level. I don't know. Of course, it's having a, an agenda, having a schedule, pretty subtle, but it's also, I don't know, I, I was always a workaholic, uh, and uh, whenever I have uh, something that I like, uh, I do it, and I even, didn't even notice that the, the time passes, you know, like, for example, I can be editing, and then uh, even girls are sending me text, and, and I didn't even realize that, <laughs> or I am making a video, I have an idea for a video, and that happens the same when I'm with my students as well, so I guess it's more uh, being focused on what you do, and uh, enjoying what you do. Otherwise, it would be really yeah, impossible. That's true. It's like following your passion all the time, you know, like when you follow your passion, then it's like time doesn't matter, you know, it's like you just enjoy the, the, the process and you can, it's like your video game, you know, you can be there all day long doing it. That's true. Uh, yeah, that's fucking cool. Uh, I believe many people struggle to, they don't know how to monetize their passion because sometimes it's not easy. I mean, some people, they have an easy way to do it, but there are some passions that are hard to, how can I charge for this? That's the question. And, and I think that that is really true. And that is really something really important for many people to, to be able or to be capable of doing that. For example, uh, I, I remember once I heard a millionaire that uh, mentioned that, that if you do what you really love, uh, it's going to be easier for you uh, to keep doing that, no? But as well, it's not only that, the case you also need to to see uh, a way to make it uh, really profitable or to live without that uh, to live with that by doing that and that is really difficult sometimes especially for example nowadays with gaming that's not anymore a problem you know that yeah. gaming actually monetizes even more than us i guess that's very easy to to, to handle yeah <laughs> But well, at the same time, I mean, yeah, you can make some money with that. But also the, the issue with gaming is that it absorbs you a lot, you know. And sometimes, I mean, you get some skills when you are playing. When you are playing video games, you learn how to play with, with a team. 
you learn how to communicate. So there are some skills that you can move, translate that to other fields, but not all the skills. And there are some times that you believe that it's something very niche, that the activities that you're doing there, you cannot move to other place. While if you compare that with a gym, for example, the intensity, the resistance that you get when you train, you can move that to other field and you can continue applying. Yes, and especially the, there are many pillars in training you know, that helps you in, in your all day life. For example, uh, being consistent, which helps you in any career that you make. Um, also, uh, it's related to consistency, perseverant, you no, know, being yeah. perseverant on what you do, and um, having a discipline. You no, know? those are three three pillars that they are really related to each other. But I think that those are really the keys to succeed in any field that you want to succeed in. I was checking a book and they were saying about the followers and they say, imagine that you only have 1,000, 1,000 followers, just 1,000, but that they pay you $100 per year. We are talking Ooh. about 100,000. I mean, if you see it in that way, it doesn't look that difficult, you know? How difficult is that 1,000 motherfucker that can pay just 100 per year, no per month, per year. And with $100,000 here in South America, you kind of live comfortable and you have some extra cash for the for the prostitutes and the whole thing, you know? So what I try to go is that uh, I believe sometimes like we we lose track and sometimes we forget that it's not about like volume, it's about of going deep with the people that we already have, right? That's true. And uh, you you really talked about some an, an important point that I, uh, I told you, I think that I bought a YouTube channel with 290,000 subs, yeah. but this guy didn't know how to monetize it. Yeah. And um, imagine, I, I have only 7,500, but I, I was doing and I am still doing much more money than he does and with less subs because yeah. it's a matter of knowing how to, how to, I, I, I don't know which word I could use in order not to sound strange, yeah. How, yeah. how to take advantage, let's say. Yeah, of, uh, how to profit. Like, I believe how to profit will be, you know, I, I, I saw some I people take way. it really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how to take advantage so that you're going to rip off, you yeah, know, the yeah. money of the people. So yeah, maybe how to profit. Because at the end, why people give you their money? Because they know that the thing that you have can cannot be found in other place, right? Because if not, they will buy it in other place. I mean, they don't buy us because they like us, or maybe they like us a little bit, you know, but I believe they buy us because we have something to offer, I think. Yeah. Uh, sexually speaking, I, I hope you're not talking. <laughs> <laughs> Your sex appeals. <laughs> No, but yeah, that's true. Uh, especially, I think uh, I was also once with a um, selected group of Power Explosive, um, a master class of YouTube. And uh, he mentioned that it's really important the connection that you make with, with your audience. Because uh, if a person uh, feels engaged in, in a way like identify, you know, like many people say the avatar, you know, and those uh, clients um, think, oh, okay, he, he also, for example, in my case, he was also overweight. He was uh, 100 kilos and he lost 23 kilos in three months. Oh, all right. I, I want to do that. How can I do that? He was in that process. Yeah. So he might know how to do that. And I think that helps a lot. Yeah. That, that's why people, they, they, remember where are you from or what problem you have before or what is your current situation and they kind of have a oh he could do it i can do it so that's a good way a very nice way to to picture it and that's why it's not good to try to show off too much you know because influencers that want to show off too much now it's like now the followers don't feel like you know i'm not that guy because that guy is too too over or is trying to pretend too much uh, especially when you see those influencers that they look like they always have good time you know like Oh, so they never have a bad day. What the fuck? You know, like, like what is going on? So I, I believe like learn to laugh about ourselves also helps because it's a way to tell people, you know, we also screw things sometimes. Yeah, I, I like to be transparent in, in, in my channel. For example, I publish... Not in your clothes. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> clothes, no. Not definitely. Okay, okay, that, okay. That, that's oh, kind of... Uh, what, what, what is the name of, of your channel? Uh, what is the name of your channel? Or what is your name of your new channel? 
Uh, all right. Uh, I, I didn't create the, the English channel yet, but I, I have two channels. No? One is Mr. Fit Dance. <laughs> the vagina the and the anus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. The, the, first, the first is Mr. Mr. Fit Dance, and the other is what? And the other is still with the name of the person that I bought the channel from, which is Axel Ponce. I'm going to change it later on. It's about pranks. Um, it really doesn't monetize that much, but I, I'm I'm going to find a way to to make yeah, it uh, always there to, a way to make it profitable. And of course, if I create the 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 YouTube in English, it wouldn't be Mr. Dick because unfortunately, <laughs> YouTube policies doesn't allow us to do that. I guess. <laughs> yeah, <that laughs> but probably shame. only Mr. Fit. And yeah, Mr. It. Fit will be good. Yeah. Without the dance stuff. Yeah, which yeah. I basically don't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that will be cool, you know. Yeah, I believe creativity is like a big thing. And, you know, I, I don't know why, maybe I'm wrong, but I believe that English will be a big thing, in, not only in US, also in South America, because if now we have more possibilities to work abroad, even fucking Zuckerberg is talking about the metaverse, you know? So I hope he doesn't meta something to us, you know, but, <laughs> but what I'm trying to go is that if we are going to replicate real life in an online version, now you don't need to be in US, you don't need to be in UK, you don't need to be in Canada, you know, you can just work from home. And if we know the language, we can start earning, you know, dollars. So I believe people will need to learn English, but by the time they will realize it's going to be late. So the people who did it on time are going to be the ones who take profit of that. Definitely, especially we have a lot of information in English before then we have it in Spanish. Uh, for example, these uh, all these stuff about bitcoins and and all, all these uh, new tendencies that also here in South America are doing about trading. Uh, long years ago, were first created in in the states, no, and, and in English there was a lot of information about it. For example, there's also a game, I don't know if you know it, which is Axie Infinity, uh, where you can uh, farm uh, um, Ethereum, which is one of these, oh. uh, these crypto monedas, no? So you, so you, you play, you play uh, uh, when you play, you earn some... You, it's, it's a pay-to-play. It's a pay-to-play game. You earn some uh, Bitcoins, uh, or, so or, to speak. Or yeah, Ethereum. Ethereum. He Ethereum. Yeah which you can change it into dollars. No, yeah, first you, you get SLP, which is the, the currency they are created crypto. by the game. They're yeah, crypto. They, they're crypt okay. and, and you can you can change that into Ethereum and from Ethereum to dollars. Holy and, shit. That's a good, yeah. that's, a, that's money. But uh, just yeah. by playing, you can make Just by that. playing. Yeah, just by playing. I, I thought you knew it. For example, you with your audience, you can even uh, invest on that. Uh, you invest on, on the account and you can give scholarships to the to the people that you have. For example, if uh, people that are interested in this podcast, uh, you give those accounts, maybe you, you, you buy different accounts and these people get a percentage of what they produce. For example, uh, it's it's an example because I have a table here. The minimum that they can get is one hundred dollars, uh, which makes you earn two hundred thirty approximately to the to the owner of the account. So one hundred for the for the person who's playing and one hundred thirty for you that you are giving that account to. Or you can just play it by yourself because you have money and you want to play and you have time and you get the two hundred thirty. No, uh -oh. up to up to four hundred, I guess four hundred fifty is the, the the top, the maximum. Okay, okay. so so just to understand it better, let's say how many hours do I need to play in order to make one hundred dollars? Let's talk about a US dollar because you know, so, so we don't have problem with it. Exchange. Yes, yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. If it is um, if it is a new account just recently created, uh, it would be three hours every day for one hundred one hundred dollars every day but three, for how long uh, three hours three yeah, hours for how, how many days how many days uh, the full month <laughs> 30 ah, so month, 30 okay. days okay so 30, yeah, 30 days. days 30 days oh, actually. Oh, and yet for three hours per day you earn 100 dollars dollars a month uh-huh yes by playing just by playing yeah not and bad people not bad, not bad. <laughs> And that's only for the person who doesn't have the money to invest on that, because the person who actually invests on the game and has the account, uh, if he's clever enough, he knows when to sell, when it's more convenient to sell and get even more than the double of what the person is making. 
Okay, okay. So uh, <laughs> what, what I got is that they pay you in their crypto. So if you know how to trade the crypto when it's in a high price, you can get an extra profit, right? Yes, yes. The person oh, who okay. has the the person who has the account uh, can pay uh, with the crypto or can pay with the conversion to dollars, depending oh. on what the, the the person who's playing wants. No, you okay, you okay. have those two options, and the per but the person who has the 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 game who owns the game gets a. Uh, 65% of everything, like uh, uh, 35% goes to the player. Yeah. And um, uh, of course, if the crypto is in a really bad situation, you just get uh, the same as the player. But there are chances where you get, can get the double of the player. You just huddle. You huddle the yeah. currency until it goes yeah. up. Yeah, yes. Like people, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I don't know. I would like to ask you a question, Fit. I don't know. <laughs> it feels strange for me. Maybe <laughs> I'm getting old, you know, that could be the reason. But I feel that there is something wrong there behind that. that. Yeah, you know, like, I mean, I, I invest in some crypto like before. I'm already out of the market. But I felt that was kind of too easy to make money. And that is kind, that kind of scared me a little bit. Uh, do you that, think that something is wrong, slightly not good there? I, I think that worry is uh, our worry is going to to the wrong <laughs> spot. <laughs> uh, knowing that YouTubers make more money than you know than doctors, and knowing that YouTubers make more money than than engineers, I think yeah. that uh, worry is going kind of crazy. I, I know, but that's uh, that. Yeah. Th those are the rules of the game, and but. I was also really skeptic on, on this because I had the money. I mean, I have the money to invest, but this is my third month that I'm as a player only. And uh, I am getting the first month I got, I didn't even get the minimum. I didn't get the hundred because I, I was a little bit uh, busy and I played just half of it and I got $50. The second month I got 100 and this third month I'm getting $100. So I am thinking about investing on it in order to, to you know, to have, uh, to give scholarships yeah. to, so to you my can leverage. You can leverage your Yeah, I, oh, I could leverage that. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, that sounds fucking cool, you know. In my times, we, 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 we used to work <laughs> for money. Now it's, like, <laughs> now it's like you can just play and earn some coins in, in, in exchange yes. for that. But, but I, I mean, well, it kind of, the YouTuber thing makes sense in some way because it's like, you know, the attention that used to go to the TV media, you know, to the TV channels, now it's shifting for the average regular TV to YouTube. So attention is, is value, is currency, is money. But in this case, it's like, who is who is benef who benefits when you play? It's like, who, who, who get the satisfaction say, oh, this guy is playing, so I need to pay this guy to play. Or is the person that is trying to build like an audience in their own game and that's why he's paying? Is that? Uh, it's kind of like that. But for example, um, those kind of games uh, work because uh, the person who created the game uh, knows a lot about cryptos. So um, the person... Uh, you can buy things. I mean, actually, people who wants to have their own accounts, they have to buy. They have to buy the axes, and the axes are not cheap. I mean, to have a good composition of axes is uh, three thousand dollars. A oh. bad composition, one thousand five hundred dollars. A good composition could allow you to make uh, get them birth. Like you have yeah. a, a father, I, and I, a, I, a dad, I, and, a, and a mother. A dad and a mother. You I, put them mate. together and breed, breed, breed. Let's <laughs> mate. Let's mate together. Yes. And let's breed. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. So, so actually, uh, buying, let's say, uh, investing six thousand dollars could allow you to have uh, after some time. 10 accounts, probably, probably. Oh, okay, and those okay. 10 accounts could uh, uh, return um, from 100 to $400 every account. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I, got a, I got an interesting thing too. Let's try to analyze this. What do you think will be the best, the best choice? Try to do that or just put the money into a crypto like, I'm not going to say Dogecoin because that thing is going to hell, you know? But maybe to an average crypto, not Bitcoin, because Bitcoin is like the first. You want a little bit something riskier, you know, because we, we want money <laughs> fast. So between that and going, for example, for Solana or Ethereum, 
which option do you think will be the, the most profitable? Uh, the, the risk reward will be the better in that, that ratio for you. I think that uh, due to the last uh, updates of many, many game to play, I think Ethereum is going to be a, a good choice because uh, Axis Infinity is not the only game that is uh, using Ethereum as a, as a currency. There are many other games. As, as far as I know, three other games are using that same uh, idea, that same idea of uh, giving scholarships to people. Yeah. No? Yeah. I believe that what they do is they create tokens, right? So they create tokens. tokens yeah, they create the, tokens in, in the, that you could farm in the game. Oh, okay, uh, you could okay. farm those tokens by playing. You play PvP, for example, against another person, and if you if you win, you gain some tokens as well as if you do the adventure, and you get those tokens. <laughs> you know, when I was a teenager, I remember I used to play my Nintendo, my Nintendo 64. <laughs> you know. And my father will, will came to my to my room, you know, and he will turn off, say, hey, you have to do something important for your life, you know. <laughs> Nowadays, we are talking about digital currencies that are being sent to people who play. So, I mean, it's hard to, to bear, you know, hard to understand yeah, this word. And it's going to be hard as well for, for, for you know, parents. I have my friend that is, is a lot into that. He has like 30 people working with him. 30 different accounts that he gives a scholarship to and he's just 19 years old <laughs> <Wow>. uh, <laughs> yeah and i said oh interesting you're doing such a great job so can we uh, analyze the, the risk i mean let's try to analyze what what could go wrong in this case what what would be the worst thing that can happen that the game disappeared is that the question that we need to address I guess the the worst thing uh, is what what is happening just right now. I, I want to be completely honest with you, which is that um, before when when this game started, uh, let's say some years ago, you could earn a lot of money, hell, a lot of money. Nowadays, it's just like one hundred dollars is not that much if you think about it. No. Yeah. But before it, you used to earn like. 1,000, 1,500, and that was wrong. Uh, what happened to the <laughs> crypto, uh, of course, went down. <laughs> yeah. Now it's now is normal. Now yeah. it's stabilized anymore uh, again. But uh, it's uh, let's say three months ago, five months ago, it went completely down. And I remember that my friend told me, "I'm I'm stacking, 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 and I don't know when to sell." <laughs> yeah, yeah. For, for people that for up. people that don't know, it's like a stack is a hold, you know, hold the currency, so don't <laughs> sell it. Uh, a stack usually you want to stack crypto because in theory they are going up, but sometimes they don't go up. <laughs> sometimes they just disappear. And then you screw. We, <laughs> yeah, you are screwed. We have the case we we mentioned this in the YouTube channel about the Squid Games currency. You know the Squid Games currency that. The problem with this token was that people were not able to sell. <laughs> they only could buy. So my question is, uh, in these uh, games that you are talking, uh, you have experience of taking money out. So actually, you know that it's possible to take out money, right? Yes, I know okay, okay. that it's possible to take money out. And I know also that it's uh, possible to use the same tokens to buy things inside the game so for example um, there are some people who uh, just by having a scholarship they stack the the tokens stack the tokens stack the tokens change it to ethereum and buy the axis yeah. in order not to work for someone else <laughs> and just work by themselves that's, yeah that's so fucking cool that's so fucking cool now if you I don't want to risk your money you say i oh, know okay i play i play and after let's say one year i, I buy my access yeah. <laughs> or half uh, half year yeah yeah and also i i believe that maybe it will be well it depends how, how much risk you want to take right but i believe that will be cool if you exchange the tokens for ethereum as fast as possible because i trust more ethereum than an average token but uh, you know when the thing gets very yeah uh, messed up is when we talk about lands virtual lands when we talk about virtual lands the thing goes to the next level i don't know if you have heard about this but there is a currency called mana mana is the central land and that is the coin that is that they are using to buy real estate in the in the metaverse you know so yes i heard about those real estate buying like for example you can buy from different kinds of countries and having uh, you have like a return of uh, a percentage of return is similar to 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 that right 
yeah. like you you are buying supposedly a, a percentage of a house in yeah. Alaska, let's say, yeah, yeah. and you receive a percentage of the rent of that house, something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. I imagine that once that you have the, the space, you can build something and then you can rent maybe for attraction or, or something like that. Uh, yeah, sometimes you say like, how far are we going to go? Can we pay to a score, to, to a slot <laughs> like in the metaverse? Can we have like sex online, you know? so. Sometimes we, we, we don't know. But, but they are doing something similar. I mean, girls, uh, for example, it's um, in my only fans. <laughs> Not only girls, also boys, you know, yeah. that they sell their packs. They also they sell their things, their services, yeah, <laughs> videos yeah. and stuff. Uh, that, can we say that that is prostitution or not yet? <laughs> I think it's prostitution. It's very close, they, right? Yeah, it's very close. It's, yeah, yeah, it's like like this, like like having the the dick here, the close <laughs> to the face. Yeah, you know, Pete, always is an honor to have you here. Uh, the the other day, I closed the the episode in the in a terrible way. I I say something. Thanks for having you. I don't know what the hell I say ooh, to, to, ooh, to close the, mm. <laughs> the, the the episode. But this time, before to wrap this up, uh, can you share your social media, whatever you want people to follow you? Sure, my, my friend. It, uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me, Jose Balta. It's always a pleasure to be here in your channel. You are such a lovely person. I know you in person and uh, for all your followers, uh, he's one of the few YouTubers that he really is the way he really is. I mean, he's really transparent on the yeah. way he is. He's I'm bold. Pretending. I'm bold in real life too. <laughs> in real life, you see this bold head and in real life it's the same bold head. Yeah, that's yeah that's not a lie yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> well uh it's it's just to to let them know that it's not only that you created a current uh, a character and and you are always imposting yourself for people to see you, something yeah. else that you are you aren't <laughs> well um my channel uh, you can find me as uh, mr fit dance uh and <laughs> yeah mr wow, he just <laughs> 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 if you're interested in calisthenics boxing uh arm wrestling especially arm wrestling i, I do that a lot a, hell, a lot or gym that i'm going to restart going to the gym you can go and check it out are you going to cover like video game things and crypto things because i believe you are in that world too so are you planning on upload content about this I planned it some time ago, but unfortunately, uh, well, I was doing it on Twitch and it was kind of growing. I got also the affiliate uh, partnership there, but uh, um, something happened that uh, you will probably know the guys that will go to my channel because I uploaded uh, a depression thing that happened to me and uh, which um, stopped that growing channel of uh, gaming oh, yeah. and it's not the same we, when you stream uh, if you disappear for some months yeah. people forget about you yeah, yeah. <laughs> but here in youtube you disappear for six months and it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah yeah that's true you always can come back you know and say i'm here again you know like, like like the first boyfriend of a girl you know always you can come back and say you know i'm back on my field yeah that's so good to have you here as a mr fit that was good to have you here. Uh, uh, if people want to follow him, you know, I'm going to leave his uh, his information in the description below. Uh, thank you for your time, uh, Fit. Thank you, Jose Take care.